Um, whoops. That intro was originally much longer, but it would probably get me a copyright strike. But anyway, hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video. And today I want to show you a pretty cool way of farming Cetus Wisps. Those little thingies. Because you're gonna need quite a few of those little thingies. If, for example, you want to build the basic railgun for your operator that you get from quails, you're gonna need 30 of them, which is quite a lot. Now, you can get wisps by doing bounties, but that is not very efficient. First of all, you don't get a lot of them, and second of all, there is loads of other rewards that you could get instead of the wisps. I don't think wisps are gonna be that big of a deal later down the line, because if you keep doing bounties and just running around the plains, you're naturally gonna build a stockpile of them, so you're gonna be okay. Okay, but for now we need a lot of them and you don't get a ton by just playing the game normally. So I did a bunch of testing which was basically just me running around like a madman on my vault and I found out few things about the wisps. So number one, it doesn't matter what time it is, they will spawn during the day, during the night, dusk, dawn, it doesn't matter, okay? They will always be there. They spawn near water, though I haven't seen a single wisp on the shore, only near lakes, rivers and ponds. They have set spawning locations, though they don't spawn there every time. There can be multiple spawn points for wisps near a single body of water. And it seems, I'm actually not sure about this one, like they don't spawn continuously. Because I was running around the map for about 30 minutes, going from one body of water to another, and I didn't get any wisps to spawn. So it seems like if you want more wisps to spawn, you have to go to Cetus and then back to the plains to basically load another instance for more wisps to spawn. And with all that information, we can easily conclude that the best way of farming wisps is to leave Cetus, run across as many bodies of water and as many spawn points as possible, and then go back to Cetus and do it again and again and again. It kind of sucks that we have to do it this way. I would have been much happier if the wisps spawn continuously, so I wouldn't have to go back to Cetus every four minutes, but it's what it is and it works, okay? Now here is how I do it. This is the route that I take and it seems to be working pretty well. I usually get somewhere between 1 to 4 wisps and it only takes about 4 minutes to do on my vault, though you could probably do it faster if you have a better setup. I've tried a couple of different routes. Some of them were a little bit faster than this one. Some of them even had a higher amount of wisps on average. But this one seems to have the best balance of time spent versus wisps acquired. If, by the way, you want to get this map, I've put a link to the description which will take you over to Google Drive and you can download it there. I already made a video about the map so I don't want to talk about it too much, but I've marked all the wisp spawning locations that I found thus far and they are at the base of the wisp, okay? So if you want to download it and maybe figure out a better, more efficient route, go right ahead. And that's pretty much it. This is what you want to do if you want to get wisp. And it does indeed work. I've yet to do a run where I wouldn't get a single wisp. I always get at least one. In this specific run that you've been watching throughout the entire video, I actually got three and one time I got really lucky and I actually got four. And of course, I would recommend you break all the resource nodes that kind of get in your way so you get something extra as well. And that's pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching. As always, I hope the video was helpful, I wish you good luck when farming the wisps, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Oh man, I should have made my own sound effects. Meep meep! Mm.